Yo, hello everyone, and this video is for you Gmail users in 2023. Integrating Notion is a productively game changer. So this guide will demonstrate how to connect Notion to Gmail, allowing you to turn emails into actionable tasks and seamlessly manage your inbox alongside your Notion workspace. So guys, without no further talking, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, to start off with this video already, we'll need a couple of things. The first thing that we will need is our Notion account to be ready to go and our Gmail account to be opened. Now here, if we went into our settings in our um, Notion account, so these are the three points that you will find the settings into it. You will not find the uh, connection sometimes, but sometimes you will do. So it depends on which page you are. For example, if I was in this architecture or hello page, I will not find the connections, but here, since I am in the journal, I will be able to find the connections right over here. So now after I have opened the connection section, I have to search for the apps. So I have to click on manage connections, see all, and then here I will try to find Gmail. So by searching, yep, nothing has appeared about Gmail in here. So what should I do? Um, there is no actually fix to actually integrate Notion to Gmail. Uh, right from these two applications, what you have to do is to use an intermediate between them. In this case, Zapier is going to help us. So Zapier is a tool to help you make an automation between multiple applications, not only two or three. You can use an automation, for example, between Notion and Gmail, and then between Gmail and Slack, and between Slack and Skype, an example. So there will be four things that are going to happen at the same time. Now let's click on the first First link and let's go inside of the website. Now here all you need to do is to write a prompt but first we have to download the apps in our account. So first you have to create an account which is very easy, very simple. I will show you a demonstration on how to do so. Once you open the page it will be something like that. Click on start free with Google and then simply choose your email as you can see here. Let me just uh, for example go with this one and here we go. Now click into the slider and then go to the apps and from the apps wait until the page loads and first of all let's start by searching for our Gmail account. So let's search here and you will find too many Gmail apps but go for the main one which is Gmail. And let's go for this one as an example. Load them and here we go. So now we have connected our Gmail account. Now let's go ahead and wait until it loads. Okay, it is working. Let's test if it is uh, the connection is working. That successfully worked. Now let's go into the apps and add Notion as well. Now for Notion, I have it already added, but I will show you how to add Notion for your own uh, apps. So let's go back here and search for Notion as well and click into connect the same thing that you did with Gmail you will redo it with Notion so here we go now all you need to do is to give uh, the selected pages and after that you give the access that's it that's all you need to do now after that click on create a app and now just wait for the page to load for you and simply you will have to write what you want to to make so the automation that you want to have for example, let's say that once I create a uh, or a message on Gmail, create a page with the content in Notion. Generate, and let's see how it works. So here we go, let's wait. So can I give message to Notion page? So here, okay, let's try it out. That's what I want exactly. Now new Gmail and new email in Gmail. Let's do that. Here let's choose the account we have added. Continue. And now I'm just going to choose uh, which kind of category you want. Let's go with draft. Okay, continue. And let's just trigger. Uh, we will find the recent email in your 
triggers to set up correctly all right let's change this to my uh, this account and let's compose a new email real quick here we go uh, let's say hello subject and send so let's compose it real quick okay here the subject here actually not hello but something at email dot com and here let's leave it like that and then let's close this instead of that I'm going to close it and which means there will be a draft over here so now after we did this let's go to testing and it works so let's keep the test for now here we go continue and let's go to our notion account so here I'm going to choose my account and let's go please reconnect here okay let's do that let's reconnect our account here we go select pages let's choose everything allow access and then we will be ready to go so here we are continue uh, choose a value we don't really need to but let's go with hello continue the step and let's wait until it is working skip test and skip and here we are ready to go so now the next thing to do is simply to click on publish right here and wait for it until uh, Gmail has some additional requirements. Your Gmail data can only be sent to approved apps. Unfortunately, the app you are using is no longer supported. You will need to edit your Zap to turn it back on. So we need to edit the Zap to. So here, what they have told us that Gmail not not is not supporting anymore the Notion app. So Zapier can't really help us to actually send messages from Gmail to Notion, which is a dead end for us in this tutorial specifically. Since now we can't really connect these two applications even using a third party app like Zapier. And if you are asking me if there is any way we can do it, well, no. Unfortunately, you can't unless you have a third application that you're going to automate this process with. For example, I'm going to send the emails from our Gmail to another application that Gmail supports, and this application will send uh, the notification to Notion that it must create for us a page in Notion with the content that it has. This is how we can do this automation. But from these two, exactly, unfortunately, you can't really do that. And that's what brings us to the end of this video. I tried to give you this tool to Zapier. It is very important, guys, to have. It will help you a lot through your uh, career. It can help you a lot with a lot of applications, not only these two. So if you learned something from this video, thank you guys a lot for watching. And make sure to leave a like and a subscribe. And see you guys in the next tutorial.